Check this out, guys. Um, they'll eat off the floor, but they won't eat out of their bowls. So, look how weird that is. They will not eat the wet food out of their bowls, but if I throw some dried up, like some freeze dried food on the floor, they'll eat that. They all slept in my bed last night. It was the cutest thing in the world. Um, they're, they're, they're a handful, but in the best way. I, they're, they're very bonded right now, so I'm hoping the pack can help them be more confident alone. But if you think about it, they've, they've spent their whole life side by side in a cage. But yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty remarkable. I'm just, I'm so happy they're here. But look at this, they're, they're starving. They're, they're starving. And they won't eat the food in the bowl. Let me try to... There we go. See, look. I put it in the bowl. Oh, how they're doing that? There you go. He won't eat it. See, they won't eat it. It's so weird. It's so weird. Bread, dude. Their diet has been bread. Can you believe that? Bread. White bread from the floor. All right, so this is the, the morning after adoption day. After a rescue day, I mean. They just had some breakfast, as you saw. But just look at their energy. Lily, Lily, it would really be nice if you could just keep it down just for a couple of minutes. Or not, or not, or not. Just keep being Lily. But you could tell the difference between yesterday and today. Um, yesterday they were obviously quite skittish, really afraid. Um, now they're following me around, way more comfortable, relaxed. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy by doing circles. I'm trying to get, <laughs> trying to see where they're all at. But anyways, guys, um, anyways, excuse me. Let's try this again. So today is the day after rescue day. I just fed them. Uh, although they were very hungry, I could tell they're very hungry. They didn't eat so much. I, I, I've never brought in a dog. I've brought in dogs that have, have been starved, have had no food. I've never brought in dogs that their only diet was white bread off the floor, so, or in a bowl. But uh, anyways, I could tell they were a little bit hesi hesitant, but they ended up eating a little bit. And today isn't much different than yesterday. You know, this one was, I would say, the most scared, the most hesitant. Um, I also recall him saying he, he bred her the most. So that makes sense. I can't tell for sure. I wonder if she's pregnant. Um, I'm not really good at that stuff, but we'll definitely get her an ultrasound and see what's going on. This one, very sweet, reminds me very much of Maeve. Um, they're all doing really good. Today's just completely different as far as energy goes. That's the other two. That's the male and the female. The male is definitely, you know, he's, he's a lot. I'm excited to get him fixed. And uh, he also needs some medical attention. He has some bleeding out of his rear. And uh, yeah, she needs medical attention as well. Um, I'm not really sure what's up with her, but I could just tell she's not feeling all that good. But it's nothing contagious. I think it's more of like internal, like her hips and stomach and stuff like that. She just has such a weird body <laughs> as well. But she's also very scared. She's still coming out of her shell a little bit and very much relies on her brothers and sisters, the other Frenchies. Uh, she relies on them a lot for comfort. So they're gonna take a little bit to decompress, but they're really doing awesome. Um, especially in just, you know, it's only been about 12 hours since we've rescued them and they're doing really, really well. And let's like, it's really important that I remind you, they have never ever been out of that kennel. 
um, for more than a few minutes to go to the bathroom. You know, they, they did not have a bed. They did not have any affection, any attention. Their whole purpose was just to reproduce and make money. Um, make money for their breeders. It's not, it's not like they had their own jobs or anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now they're, they're doing just absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm really happy to see them progress here and thrive here. And if, if, they're, if they're eventually able to be separated, then of course, you know, we'll adopt a couple out and, um, and go from there. But it's gonna be a while till any of them, even if there will be available one day, it will be quite a while uh, until that happens. So please be patient and there's no reason to email us inquiring about when they'll be available or anything like that. It is going to take a lot of time until we uh, get to that point. So hopefully some of you or many of you would be understanding of that. But yeah. Hi Stevie.